Hey everybody, Bandit V Count Kid up here, back for the last gauntlet with the Ultra Ball Burglar team, and the last burglar run in round one. Let's see if we can make a clean getaway in the Prime Cup. On with the gauntlet. Alright, commence Operation Prime Cup against Last Terry, our first opponent, whose team bears a striking resemblance to the Pokefan Carmen team from uh, Master Ball or Great Ball, you know? We got the basic grass, water, and electric teaming, and we've also got three normal types. Great. Um, we have answers to all of them, although it's going to take a little bit of work, because if Azumarill shows up, special wall. If Ampharos shows up, kind of a special wall if we don't have an earthquake user. So we're going to start off with Andros. It's a safe pick. Uh, Ampharos shows up. We can easily use Earthquake on it, but she anticipates that because of course she can read my moves, and she swaps out to none other than Togetic. So we'll miss with that, but that's fine. This is a very physical Togetic. It uses Swift, Fly, and Double Edge, along with Safeguard. And luckily I beat it to the punch because it puts it up right away. But it is confused. We'll take that. I'm going to swap right back out. And bring on Napalm because he doesn't mind physical abuse. Togetic hits itself confusion. That's great. And apparently Napalm either quick clawed or is faster than a Togetic. Rock Slide misses. Confusion 2 hits. Actually, that's confusing three. Okay, looks like it's not a speed battle. Oh, six times the damage with that rock slide. That's down. What will he send in next? What will she send in? Of course, it's Ferrosap. Well, I didn't bring in a ground Pokemon with me, so I don't really have an answer to him. All I could do was pray that Zap Cannon would miss, and I can't leave Napalm in. So, I have stuff with Earthquake, so I'm gonna actually get to out, uh, switch out to Andros. Okay, that's fine. We get a critical Earthquake. This battle's ours. Don't, but hey, that's great damage. Alright, you got me. Paralyzed. I don't have Heal Bell this time. Can't burn me, though. Alright, so we know two of her Pokemon. Why did she save? Okay, it's Wigglytuff. Protect, Sing, Body Slam, and Disable. It's an interesting set. Because I don't know why she's going for Protect. Um, actually, I do know why she's going for Disable. But sometimes the AI is very weird about this. Like, she'll keep using Protect. Like, I have Napalm. I'm paralyzed. I have great defense. Okay, and we got a fire blast. Will it hit? Yes. Okay, over half. Awesome. Here starts the disabling. And it works. Yeah, of course I picked the move that is disabled. So now we're going to switch over to Rock Slide. Yep, I'm paralyzed. I get it. But you can take one more. Okay. Now she's protecting. <laughs> protecting from what? <laughs> Fire Blast is disabled. Protecting again. Okay. Oh, no. Protecting again. 
Okay, another wasted move. What's this? Oh my, miss again! Will she protect again? Thank you, weird AI. Oh no, no thank you for the next protection. Okay, assuming she's gonna use protect again. Which she does. Okay, we're no longer disabled. All we gotta do is use one move, any move. Oh, now body slamming begins again. And of course, paralysis on the last move. On the last move, we're disabled. We can't take it. All right, we're gonna swap over to what we've been saving and Cyclosion, who actually has a paralysis cure berry. Protect again? Why? I don't know. AI is weird. Let's just get out of this battle already. Yeah, it's almost more annoying than the Pokefan female team. It's like, just annoying enough. Well, that's all in the past now. It's done. Let's go on to Black Belt Yang's battle in Battle 2. Now, we have to be a little careful here because some of his Pokemon no counter. I can't bring Houndoom, nor can I bring Napalm. Andros is risky. Just fighting types in general, we can't really deal with. Um, it's like facing a water team. I've got moves that are effective, but it's not like I have a consistent, um, super effective strategy here. Now, this Hitmontop does have counter, and I think this is where I got a little complacent. Um, I just started using... I knew he was going to use ca Detect first, but I went all in on the wing attack. And yeah, it does good damage, but I got countered. But we live. It's okay. There goes the top. Him on Lee, Detect, Mega Kick, Reversal, and High Jump Kick. I think I might even outspeed him, but there's that obligatory Detect and a miss. But judging from the announcer's big blow, I should be able to knock him out. Well, definitely now, with six times damage with that crit. Go, Gligar, go. What do you got left? Okay, Hitmonchan, Detect, Mach Punch, Thunder Punch, and Dynamic Punch. The Detect gives me a free switch out, so I'm going to take advantage this time. Again, I got a little careless. Hitmon Lee could have easily done away with me, but I'm going to switch to Duck Trio. And I risk actually putting up a substitute, because, yeah, Dynamic Punch was coming and it missed. So we have two free moves. Or one free move. Come on. Big damage. Yes. And I believe hit my chance the more defensive of the trio. Yep, we got the critical hit out of the way. So this is the end of battle two. I want to use Doug Trio more too because this is the last Doug Trio we're gonna see in round one, except possibly for the Gym Leader Castle. I'm not confirming that while I'm recording this, but it's definitely the last one of the cups. All right, on to battle three against Bird Keeper Adam. So. Earthquake is going to be a bust here, obviously, right? Oh, it's not the last one of the cups. We will have more another Doug Trio cameo. But it's from a little cup team. It's a ways away. So Lucifer has Hidden Power Ice. That'll hit the Flyers. Thunder Punch with Typhlosion. That'll hit the Flyers. 
Um, Doug Trio also has Rock Slide. Napalm has Rock Slide. We were in good shape to take on this team. All right, this isn't bad. Rock Slide definitely won't knock out the Dodrio, but it'll do significant damage. No flinch. Toxic. And yeah, we're poisoned. But it's not like Dodrio has any stalling tactics. It just has some power moves behind it. Not anymore, but it could have drill packed us. And I still don't know what its hidden power is. Alright, Murkrow's out. We'll try giving it a rock slide. Okay, so it flies. Um, definitely can't stick around for that, so I'm actually going to switch over. I believe we're swapping out to Gligar. That's correct. This is also the last uh, time we're going to be using Gligar for a while. What a prize, Stadium 2. Okay, we can survive one turn with Charizard. Although, I don't know how we did it, but we knocked out Charizard once before in a previous team. And we can't deal with the burn. So time to switch to one of our generals. He doesn't mind flamethrower at all. And as you can see, Thunder Punch will quickly dispatch the Charizard. Well, not quickly. It's, it's going to take two. And end the battle. This is the third battle of the preliminaries. First three battles are nothing to worry about, really. So it's kind of like working for a real burglar. I'm sending in my underlings to do the dirty work first, and then you bring in the top dog. On to battle four against Cool Trainer Floria. We're prepared against the hypnosis stuff and the psychic users um, to a, a small degree. Grass, the grass types won't be any problem. Hypno won't be a problem. Polyrath probably will be because it no knows um, Surf. Stantler has a powerful return, and Clefable has Thunder Punch, and Ice, uh, Fire Blast, and an unknown hidden power. So, I'm gonna start with Duck Trio. Now, I thought Sandler would go for Hypnosis right away, so I substituted right up. But no, it goes for its stab return, and that's going to take out the substitute. So, that was worthless. So, let's go Earthquake. Dodging that Quick Claw. Okay. Two hit knockout, and but a very strong return. For some reason, this Stantler always gets the Quick Claw. Like, it's like, I don't know. Having faced it so much, it was bound to happen. Of course, Polyrath comes out. And I have nothing great to switch to. So, I got a battle. We're just going to give it an Earthquake, see what, see what hits. About a third. And he's done his job. <laughs> oh man, it got flooded. 
Okay, so Typhlosion comes out, we've got Thunder Punches, and that's the best we can muster. But we get a Paralysis off it, that's nice. And we dodge Hypnosis! This battle's looking up. If he brought, if she brought a Grass type, she's dumber than I thought. Of course. <laughs> of course. Burn it away. So it faints, and that's halfway of the Prime Cup. Not too difficult. With a proper burglar team, no, it's not too difficult. Now starts the second, more difficult half of the Prime Cup. Here comes Fisherman Chase with a boatload of water types. And most of them know Surf, Waterfall, and Hydro Pump. And yeah, it's kind of obnoxious. Um, <laughs> of course, Quagsire is probably going to make an appearance. Because why not? Let's hope for the best. I have to bring along Lucifer for the Dragonite that's bound to show up. And there's Quagsire with Stab Earthquake. Actually, no, it's got Stab Dig. Assuming he used Surf, I am switching to Andros. Yeah, not bad. We're gonna put up a light screen, just in case. Ouch! We got hit by Dynamic Punch? Okay, we're cured there. We'll confuse him. Okay, okay, um, he went underground. That's fine with me. I'm going to double earthquake him. Oh, no. It went through. So, okay. Poor Sandler. Andros has done his job. Put up light screen. See how long it lasts. It's still up, so let's go earthquakes. Okay, one more will do it. Oh, great. It missed. Lucky, lucky. Uh-oh. Swap out two. Dragonite, of course. It also has a hidden power. I have never seen it used, I don't think. Light screen, light screen wears off. And I can't leave Typhlosion in there, so let's go Lucifer. Yeah, Hidden Power Ice, I don't think it'll be enough to knock it out, though. Okay, very nice damage, but not nice enough. We know we're not getting a, getting a continue off this. That crunch was just for a safety measure, just in case he decided to swap out. Alright. It's looking like a two-hit flamethrower knockout. Oh, wow. That's close. Meanwhile, Headbutt's doing some damage. Why doesn't this Dugong no surf? Why are all the Dugong terrible? Let's 
Swimmer Bruce's is terrible. Fisherman Chase's is also bad. It does no ice beam though. And it's a it's a sleep talker too. It could have used rest. If it were smart. Okay. Quagsar falls to a crunch. And a critical hit one at that. Told you things would ramp up. That's battle five. So I think we've defied the odds going against all these water Pokemon. Like, we're not gonna... We won't be silenced. We're not going down. Although we do have Battle 6 to contend with, and that is the Scientist Team. A.K.A. the Fast Confusion Team. The Swagger Team. The Confusion Ray, Confuse Ray Team. It's one of the most annoying teams I face, along with the Teacher. And possibly the Skier Battle next. But we have fast Pokemon of our own. So I have Dugtrio here against Electrode. Obviously, it's not going to do him any good to keep that in. So he'll swap out. To bring out Crobat, which is fine. I'm going to just substitute right here. And actually, I'm actually going to outspeed the Crobat. I go for Body Slam just to try to get some paralysis off. And there goes, there goes flying. We'll use a filler move. Now it's like clockwork. He's gonna fly, destroy the substitute. And while I don't have it up, I'm gonna put up substitute again to dodge a confuse ray. And then the whole cycle starts again. Only I'll be using rock slide just because I don't want this to go on forever. My HP is going down. We just can't have Rock Slide miss. No flinch off that, that's just him flying up. Of course. And of course. It's just how this is going. It's just going to repeat. Sub up. Confuse Ray miss. And come on. Rock slide hit and knockout. Let's go. Let's really go. So we have a substitute out. We are prepared to handle the Sneasel. Kind of the same deal here. We actually outspeed him. Duck's Trio is so fast. It's so great. Now Ice Punch is definitely going to knock that out. And because of the super effective moves, I'm pretty sure I would have lost to it anyway. Uh, so I go for an Earthquake. We knock out Sneasel. Now we face Electrode. Who cannot use Explosion. It's going to use Swagger and Screech Strats along with Zap Cannon. That's all it can do. And we don't outspeed him. Uh, and wow, that's almost half our health. So, uh, nope, we're not leaving that in. We're actually going to switch over to Andros, who has a bitter berry and should be fine. All I could use is Screech. So now, we're going to get powered up by Swagger. Dun, 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 dun. And Super Andros attacks with Earthquake, ending the battle. There's Battle 6. It's not too tricky once you know how to combat confusion, but it's annoying if you don't have anything or if your Pokemon are all slow. 
And I will not forget the awful male polka fan team that I had to do this with. I think it was all luck in that front. All right, battle seven against the skier Kathy. And of course, she's got a plethora of water Pokemon, three of them, and a fair amount of ice types. But the, here's the kicker, they don't know water attacks. Good off the bat, but I have to start with Lucifer because Mr. Mime is gonna show up, of course it is, and try to uh, baton pass double team. Right on cue, there it is. So we will outspeed, but this Mr. Mime tends to get a lot of quick claw uh, in too. All right, there's the double team. Can we outspeed? Yes, will we hit? Yes. We just saved us about 20 minutes of agony. All right, there's Lapras. Body Slam, Dragon Breath, Ice Beam, and Icy Wind. So he definitely wants to slow us down. And that? Oh my. Oh, I countered. That's why. Nice. Pretty okay damage. Let's give it a flamethrower now. And we have a Miracle Berry too. So. Wow, no paralysis either. We get to keep it. This Lapras is usually trouble too. What'd you save? You saved for Alligator, who is just a physical attacker. Really, I mean Slash, Bite, Icy Wind, and Screech. No sped drop. A slash is gonna hurt, so I'm gonna swap out to Typhlosion. All right, that's great news. So let's go for Thunder Punches. Screech doesn't matter. This battle's over. For Alligator has a Miracle Berry. He's gone. That's the easiest level seven, or er, <laughs> battle seven I've had in a while. It's nice having elemental support, isn't it? Something the beauty team completely lacked. All right, this is it. The final battle of the burglar team, of any burglar team in round one. Uh, we're going up against Cool Trader Marnie with his Mew and his Psychic Pokemon, Starmie, and as well as his Tyranitar um, and Umbreon. So he's got two Darks, two Psychics, a Normal, and a Poison. How do we contend with that? Well, we're going to have um, Lucifer try to take on the Mew. And yeah, we're going to need this uh, luck of the draw here. Hopefully we don't have to face Starmie. OK, that's right on cue. Now here's two things. I could go critical hit crunch or two crunches, or I can use counter. Okay. I went with the latter. There go. And we survive with, okay, HP. That takes out the Mew. I don't care about continues this time. All right. We'll give it a flamethrower. This Ursa Ring is very strong. Critical hit. Wow. Oh my gosh, this might be the fastest last battle we've ever had. 
Okay, it's Starmie's last. Question is, do we outspeed? No. No, we don't. Wow, I thought we would. Starmie has Bright Powder. I don't have a Quick Claw. There's no contest. But I'm going to give Doug Trio his finest hour here. For now. Try to give some Earthquakes in. We're going to get at least two. Oh, it's not enough. But at least we're hitting the Starmie. Bright Powder has not kicked in. All right, we just need one Thunder Punch. Doug Trio, you were a trooper. You'll get your due. All right, Typhlosion, this is it. And we go first? What is that? Was it a speed tie? I don't know. But we won. No surf abuse. That felt deserved, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Um, yeah. Burglar conquered the Prime Cup. Flawlessly. Let's analyze the run. Amazingly, Jensen's Ultra Ball Burglar team has gotten clean away with all the cups. Flawlessly. Again, I can't really believe it given all the water coverage here. Still, it wouldn't have been possible without our flexible fire mainstays, Lucifer and Typhlosion, whose move varieties helped get us out of a lot of jams. Matt Cargo wasn't the best fire type, but he did end up filling a role as the heavy blocker of body slams and other normal moves, which did make me see this Pokemon in a whole new light. As for our ground types, Doug Trio had the speed, power, and substituting technique to slink by anything that tried to set up against it. And Gligar balanced it out by being purely flying type, and of course possessing Earthquake as well. Andros, on the other hand, I have the least amount of praise for. He was relegated to a support Pokemon while the others made out like real bandits, stealing all the glory. While he wasn't worthless, I don't think he gelled too well with the team, nor did he do well as a water wall either. Nevertheless, the team survived the gauntlet and took the cups legitimately rather than underhandedly, so I salute their merit. Sliding in next will be the Ultra Ball Border with a very cool team to show off in the 26 Pokemon Trainer Gauntlet next time. I'm B Count Kdub. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more Gauntlet videos, and it's time to retire from that Pokemon life of crime and hit the slopes. For now, cue that triumphant music, and I'll see you next time.